What's up guys, welcome back to the Claw Boss channel. So if you guys have been watching my shorts, I talked about a road called Indian Curse Road and the road is right behind me, Route 55. It goes from Deford, New Jersey all the way down to Vineland and it's supposed to be extremely cursed. Back when they were building this road in the 80s, they built it on top of an ancient Indian burial ground. What they didn't know was that would come back to actually haunt them. This road is known for constant accidents, deaths, When they were building this road, multiple people have died. But this road is supposedly cursed by the ancient Native American spirits of those who were disturbed during the construction of this road. We're gonna go investigate that today. So the bridge we're actually standing on is Delcy Drive. And this is the area where supposedly the ancient Indian burial ground actually was. If they would have detoured a mere five miles, none of this would have happened. This road wouldn't be cursed and there wouldn't be a problem today like there is. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on to 55 and we're gonna travel this road a little bit and I'm gonna give you a little bit of ambiance on how creepy this road actually is driving at night. Because to be honest, I don't like driving it. My friend Joey even said he gets scary vibes. Like first or second time on it, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I kept, I kept seeing those crosses on the side of the road every like half mile. You know like the little white ones they always put when someone dies there? I saw like, how many was it, 30? Because a lot of people die on this road. And I've never seen that on any other road like this one. Also, you'll notice that there's always cars broke down on this road. If you guys have ever traveled this road, All right, so we're getting on Route 55 South towards Glassboro, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a story time with what personally happened to me on this road. Um, I was a limo driver a couple years ago. I used to do trips down to Glassboro all the time, and this one time I was coming back with a limo. Um, it was like three o'clock in the morning, and I had to go to the bathroom, and there's like, down this way there's really nothing you know, no exits that have anything near, and I had to go right away. So I pulled over on the side of the road, and I got out, and I had the most eerie feeling on the side of this road, like something was watching me, like there was something right there, man. I, I did my deed, and I got back in the car and just took off. Um, there's something about this road. There's a very negative energy about this road. I also had another time where I was coming back from Wildwood, which is a beach vacation area. I was driving home. I had a car come up behind me, a little Honda. I was in the left lane and the little Honda, I guess, got mad at me, gets in the right lane and pushed me off the road. I ended up in the median. Uh, thank God I was able to keep control. Uh, but it, this road is very, uh, you'll notice very aggressive driving. A lot of people die on this road from single car accidents. Nobody else involved, just them. Um, and it's just, it's a very, very eerie road. There's a very negative feeling to this road. When they were building this road back in the 1980s, a DOT van full of DOT workers exploded, killing them. One guy's hands turned black. Another guy had an aneurysm. One man got run over by a steamroller and was killed. There's so many coincidences that happened during the construction of Route 55 in South Jersey that they could no longer be ruled coincidences. And all this information is online, you can look it up, it's all true. They knew when they were building this road that they were building it on an ancient Indian burial ground. They had the information, they were told by the local uh, Native American doctor um, that they were disrupting the spirits and they didn't care. They wanted to save money by building the road where they wanted to build it. They didn't want to detour it out of the way and uh, as a result, you get what you get today. Look, we already have a sus. What the hell is that? It's a freaking fusion. Is that a fake cop car? Oh, <gasps> imposter. Not in there. That's a real cop. What's going on on this road tonight? At least I think it's a real cop. All right, so we have two cops 
on both sides of the road in the in like the same spot almost something's definitely up oh, my gps is saying accident it's red up here the red yeah the backup interesting it's there's an accident already all oh, right oh my there's something up here the heck there's is an accident look. look single car look was that single yeah in a ditch left. single car accident in a ditch from what how right like how would that car end up in a ditch like <laughs> ghosts that's weird <laughs> like that's what i'm know. talking about there it Literally, is there's constantly. your accident Constantly, this road. Yeah, what was that? Like five minutes? <laughs> literally, yeah, Driving literally five minutes of filming. We've been on this road for five. We're at exit 50A, which is like down near Glassboro. Once we get past Glassboro, it's pretty empty. And once we get outside, you guys will see how terrifying this road is. Even with cars, if they're passing, it's a terrifying feeling outside. Like there, there's a cross. There's a cross. There's a cross. Oh. Like, there, there's a cross, there's a cross, there's a cross. That's not, that's not the last one you'll see either. That's true. It's hard to see because it's nighttime. When I saw them, it was daytime. We saw a lot too. And they, you know, they don't light up, obviously. No. So we saw a lot It's that hard day. to see them. Oh yeah, there's there's probably a whole bunch we just passed that I can't oh, yeah. see. There's some on, even on this side too. I noticed, like in the in the, this in road the center. This is littered yeah. with dude. There's been so many. And like so I've never deaths. seen any other road with crosses. Like no. rarely. I'll never see it, but on this road you do see it, and it's very interesting. It's eerie to know that that many people lost their lives. Like it's obviously a, a conspiracy, not a conspiracy at that point. Like, oh, it's, would it be? It's, I don't know. It's because it's, of, yeah. like all the chances of that, all like the deaths. This is this road is confirmed to be something. Like it's it, it's not the coincidences just outweigh reality. I mean, you can't. You, you you just can't deny that there's some kind of negative energy on this road because of, you know, like I, like I said yeah. earlier, the single car accidents, the deaths, you know? I actually feel very uneasy on, like, I feel very uneasy right now. Because I've never physically, I've never physically investigated this road. Really? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I never thought of, like, making this a YouTube video. So, like... I'm kind of scared because, like, they, there's actually people out there. I was reading articles that don't talk about this road. Like, they're they're afraid to talk about it. That's really that's kind of nerve wracking. Like, when they're on it, they won't talk about it. There's some people who won't even take this road. Really? Mm-hmm. You look up the news stories and stuff. There's people who won't even take this road. They say that they're too scared of it. Because anything can happen. You can have a, a blowout. You can have a you know, yeah, anything. anything, anything at all can happen because of the negative energy from this road. They're not happy about being disturbed. We all know what happens with ancient Indian burial grounds. You son of a bitch, you moved the cemetery, but you left the bodies, didn't you? You son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! You only moved the headstones! <laughs> Especially all the cars traveling over it every day. Yep. Yeah, that's that's not something I would want to happen to me if I was dead. Right? So right as we stopped filming, we passed like two crosses so far, and I happened to not get on freaking camera. That's unfortunate. It's like they don't want me recording it. <laughs> and that was only like a minute. It was like a minute of driving. We saw two. Yeah. It's crazy. We're now getting further down 55, down towards Millville area. We're probably about 10, 15 miles out of Millville. Cross. Cross. Ah. A lot of cross. Oh, that was like. Oh, oh my god. Freaking there was like four of them. freaking there. family or something. Oh my died god, there. dude. I don't know if we caught that on camera, but there was like four uh, or five. I had it out the there. window, but it might have been too dark. Oh, I just got chills, man. Oh, that, like yeah, this. that was a lot. I don't like dude. this. All I don't one like spot. this, dude. I never, did, I never did research about this before, and I, I, I don't like I don't like the vibe. I never really thought about it. Like, I mean, I knew, because, you know, I, I have. Weird New Jersey, and they made <laughs> they did a video, they did a a story about this in in their book. If you have the Weird New Jersey book, I never thought about it. I just thought it was like you know, like Pig Lady Road or like you know, like Clinton Road. Like you know, you go down these roads and nothing really happens. This yeah, this road, I genuinely have a bad vibe right now. Worse than Clinton Road, and Clinton Road is terrifying. Yeah. This road, really, I just have a bad vibe, dude. After like, I've never noticed all these crosses. 
Yeah, I didn't notice it the first time I You drove. noticed that when we drove down here in your car that day, and I, I never I never noticed them before. So the sign back there says, stay alert, high crash area. Why is this stretch of road a high crash area? When yeah, it's that's literally weird. just a straight, look, it's a straight line right here. Why is this a high crash yeah, area? Yeah, I noticed that when I drove here before, they have those signs everywhere, high crash area. Why? Which is just kind of eerie, too, knowing, you know, like why, why there's accidents, you know? Yeah. Like, what makes this a high crash? Like, normally, a high crash area means, like, a heavy merge or... And I've never seen that anywhere else, really. No. Like, I never uh -uh. get to, like, you know? Nope. Now we're down towards Malaga Elmer area, which is Route 40. So now we're basically down near the middle of nowhere. Like, this is getting down into the boonies. Uh, if you look on the GPS right now, it's pretty much just woods around us here. Anything now I see, I'm, like, automatically, like, my eyes are getting glued to it. Like, I could see a Native American spirit standing on the side of the river right now. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't you know, be like, surprised. Oh, for real. Hello, hello, hello. We should have brought... You know what? We should have brought a box of Land O'Lakes. Dang it. Oh they would have been so mad about that. They would have been like, Ah, oh, you put the, put my ancestor back on box. Now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, we're down here now, man. This is... We're, we're 38, mi 38 miles from the end. Yeah, this would be a good time to remind you guys to smash a like on this video if you're enjoying this. We're going to find a ghost tonight. I promise you. We're going to... Oh, I'm sure. Something's going to happen. All right, so as we're driving, I just saw the, the most creepiest thing ever. What would you think of? So you have other roads in America, like the White Lady in Chicago and stuff like that. Like the haunted roads? Yeah. Okay. What if we're driving right now? Okay. And Native American spirit is sitting in the back of my truck looking at us like those nukes top five videos we don't even know it and we just turn the camera around slowly it's for you is. all right i'm gonna turn the light on three two one <laughs> we're good all right good all right well, remember they saw that girl in the wedding dress on this road. No, that was actually real. Yeah, but why it was she in the wedding go. dress on the road? On the road, it's weird. They uh, they took her in the back of the paddy wagon and they took her home. Was she like drunk or something or high? Or no. She oh, didn't she a, escape some like? She escaped from a child place. She was like seventeen. So weird. In a wedding dress. How did she get a wedding dress from? It's a car. Broke down car. Oh. Do you think the ghost got car? to it? All right, so we made it to the beginning of fifty-five. We're down past Vineland right now. 47 is right behind us, but this is where 55 actually begins. Mile marker 20, 0.8. If you notice, Joey, I don't know if you notice, there's not a creepy vibe here because the creepy part is up that way. The whole vibe of the road changes here. Like you feel yeah, nothing here. But once you get down past Malaga, Elmer, that's where the creepiness really, really starts. I noticed the crosses stop because closer that way is where the Native American burial ground was. So we're gonna head on Route 55 right now. We're gonna head back, all the way back to Defford, and we're gonna stop along the way, see if we can catch some ghosts. Let's go. Oh, Christ. What was that? A piece of tire and shit. Oh, now this is spooky as fuck. I'm gonna leave the truck running for this one. Yeah, you're getting out. That's Wait. spooky as fuck. <laughs> Why, just trees. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Just trees where the Native Americans like to fucking hide out. It just. <laughs> trees. Oh, Native Americans are up right there. Oh, I see a face. Oh, Hi. God. What? It's looking at me, actually, kind of funny. Where? Right there. You really see a face? No. Actually, look at that branch. It looks like a face. Like, look. Oh. See? I don't look at the face. Look. Where? I can't see the camera. It looks like a face. Ew. Imagine I saw something. Like running by or something. Alright, so this is the area where I pulled over with the limo. I remember it because right behind Joey who's filming, there's actually a hill. It's like, it, it goes up like this right here. And we're at the very end of it right here. But this is the spot where I stopped. And I remember standing here, looking up at the stars. And just the eerie, eerie feeling right here. Which I don't know if Joey can feel, I can feel it. Look at this, look, no cars, look. All the way down there. No one, look. We're the only ones. 
here right now. So I have my EMF yeah, the detector. Moment, no There's nothing here, no power lines above us. So this shouldn't go off for any reason. So I'm gonna turn this on and see if we can get anything. Are there any spirits here who would like to contact us? Were you disturbed when they constructed this highway? If there's anyone here with us right now, come towards this little device. We give you permission. Pieces of trash and floating all the way. <laughs> this is a creepy place, man. I don't know. This road's creepy. If you're here with us, let us let us know. Give us a sign. We give you permission to give us a sign that you're here with us right now. Being on the side of a highway doesn't exactly pickle my pickle if you know what I mean especially a road where there's accidents constantly yeah. and people are dying in single car crashes and obviously not paying attention to their surroundings and we're over here trying to find ghosts how smart are we now we're really alone there's no cars coming that way and no cars coming oh my god it's pitch black now oh god turn that light on Oh Christ. Yeah, it's, it's pitch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting the light back on. Jesus. <laughs> Screw that. If there's anyone here with us right now and you want to freak us out, this is the time. There's literally no one around us for... Okay, I don't like this right now. <laughs> what the hell happened? I can literally walk in the middle of the highway until the car comes down here with no lights and kills me. Look. There's literally no one. <laughs> there is no one here. You hear that? See? What? I mean, I know it's windy, but I just heard it sound like a cruncher over here, like someone walking. Like, it wasn't like this. It was like like someone just walked on like leaves or something. I don't know. Could be. I mean, we haven't gotten a hit on the EMF reader yet, so that's a good sign. Could be a bit good or bad side, not sure. All right, so let's hop in the truck. Maybe this is not a, the best area. I'm just going by how I felt that day when I was driving the limo. I remember this spot very well. It was right on the curve. And I remember these trees right here, right in the middle right there. And I do remember the hill, yeah, which is like right back there. It's like a 50 feet behind us. So let's hop back in the truck and let's travel on this road a little bit further. And we'll see if we can stop somewhere else. All right, so we made it down back to Defford. Now this stretch of roadway, if I do believe I'm correct, is where the actual burial ground is. I mean, I could be standing on it right now for all I know. They said it's anywhere past Route 47. So we just passed 47. The, the bridge is literally right back there where we actually started this video. So I do believe that this is the part where the burial ground is located. Like I said, there's no way of telling where it was. Nobody knows. But I am outside. Joey's too scared to get out, but I'm... Out here. This, this is terrifying, okay? Yeah, but I have the EMF reader right here. And I'm going to say again, if there's any spirits here with us, let yourself be known. We, we, we want to communicate with you. We are sorry for what they did to your ancestors, to the spirits here. We are sorry. And we, dude, I have chills right now. I don't like it. If you're here with us, Give us a sign. On behalf of everyone that built this road, I want to say we're sorry. We apologize. I have a device in my hand. If you could touch that device to show your presence, to show that you're really here, to show that this road is truly haunted, give me a sign. This thing went off me, I would die, dude. I would literally die. <laughs> not literally, please, I don't want, never mind. Not literally, but you know, figuratively. I don't know, maybe it's not as haunted as we think it is. I mean, all the crosses, 
the cars broken down, the accidents, the weird occurrences on this road. Maybe it is just all coincidental. Maybe there truly is no haunting. I mean, that's what we're out here to investigate to find out, right? So far, we have no evidence of this road being haunted. Just a bunch of coincidences, a bunch of bad drivers that speed and don't use their blinker and just cause crashes for themselves. That's why there's signs I mean, everywhere. That is true, I'll give it that. Yeah, <laughs> obey the speed limit, high crash area, slow down. They're doing everything they can out here to get people to stop crashing on this road. Is it a higher power? Something that we Ooh, can't see? It flickered. Did it really? A little, like it, it was like just like flipping, wasn't it? On the, on the second one, it was flipping. Are you here? But that that first one was still lit. Like, well, it stay stay lit. Okay, yeah. So, like, if I put it near the, if I put near the blinker, let me see. No, it doesn't do anything. Like I definitely saw it. Like you could replay. I definitely saw it like flicker. Like, if I if I hit oh. like that, that's that's me doing that. Maybe it was you. See, it was what? like that. See. I mean, you weren't moving though. It was just... mm, yeah, even if I go like this, a little bit. Maybe, maybe yeah. not like this. We can replay it. All right, guys. So we made it back to Belmar. We pulled into the Wawa here. Um, so, what do you guys think? Do you think Route 55 is truly haunted, or do you just think that it's just a coincidence? The car accidents. The crosses. The crosses. All the deaths. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know. We've been driving for the last two and a half hours making this video. We're tired. Uh, it's really windy out here. Look at the freaking red light. Uh, it was it was crazy. It's really windy out here. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have any other places you want us to visit in the general area, maybe New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. Anywhere like that that you know is haunted, let us know in the comments down below. Reach out to me on Instagram at ClawBossNJ, and maybe we'll feature your location in a future video. I'm going to go out on a limb and just say that I think the road might be haunted, but a lot of it might be coincidence. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm ClawBoss, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.